So my next little section is, this is something very new to Out of the Box. Uh, members will know that I do a little 10 minute business tip. And the reason why I added that in is not because I pretend to be the expert on everything. It was just to give some variety through the evening, but also an opportunity that I thought might happen. So there's a, another level of membership that I'm introducing this year called Infinity. And the reason why it's called it's inf Infinity because sky's the limits. If you want to go to the top and you want to go beyond the moon, well, that's what it's all about. So I'll explain a, um, a little briefly about our memberships uh, a little later. But as a part of the uh, what you receive in that level of membership is you get the opportunity to do the 10-minute um, business tip at an Out of the Box Biz live event. Yay! <laughs> so... <laughs> Really, really feeling like this is not really the response I was expecting. So if you want the opportunity to be up on this stage giving your expertise in an educational forum for 10 minutes on the Out of the Box business tip, this is the opportunity. Yay! I'm feeling a lot better. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm delighted because this is a level that when I thought of it, it was just too big and scary for me to even actually speak it. So this is my year. You know when you have those really big goals that you just go, yeah, I want to do that, but I'm not going to tell anyone. It's one of those. <laughs> so now I'm, I'm sharing and it feels real now because um, a very generous member who I just went and, you know, pitched and said, this is what it's all about what do you think <laughs> kind of thing and I was lucky that she saw the value and she said yes so please welcome to the stage Claire White Lord Brown I'm very excited to be let loose on the stage with a microphone in my hand <laughs> Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Claire Whitelaw Brown. Um, my business is CWB Business Growth Strategies, and I help female entrepreneurs with big, hairy, audacious goals to make them come a reality. So tonight, I have been let loose with the business tip for the evening. So did you know that over 50% of us actually set New Year's resolutions, and that 95% of those get broken pretty much instantly. And the reason for that is because a lot of the time what they're doing is they're focusing on habits and they don't focus on your thinking or on what's in your heart. So here's a thought. What about if instead of having a broken chain of promises to ourselves, we had one word which became our theme for the year? On New Year's Eve, I had the pleasure of sharing it with some awesome business owners, ladies, who um, we spent uh, an hour or so by the pool, beautiful evening, talking about our 2015 and what we wanted for 2016. And we decided to set ourselves an intention with one word. So one lady's was bold, another lady's was um, courage, and another lady's was focus. And mine was audacious, which means to be bold and to be daring and to reject the mega trend and to do something different. So there's a lot of power in one word. It's not just about something specific. It becomes something that can affect your behavior and it can affect your thinking and it can affect what you feel in your heart. So I wanna set you a challenge today to ditch the New Year's resolution and to come up with one word to be your theme to guide your 2016. So we're gonna do an exercise. So the first part of it is for you to take a couple of minutes to stop and to think about what, word, what one word can make a huge difference in your 2016 that could be your guiding light okay then i'm going to ask you to get up out of your seats and go and talk to somebody that you don't know to help to embed that word in your um your subconscious i'm going to ask you to share that word and what it means to them 
And then if we've got some time at the end, I'll ask people to shout out their words and to share them with the whole room to make it even deeper into your subconscious. Okay, so the first part is just take a couple of minutes on your own just to think quietly about what word it is that could have the biggest impact on your 2016. Go. Okay, so I'm taking by the chatting that people have thought about their ideas. So it's time to get up and to go and talk to somebody that you haven't spoken to already this evening and to share your word with them and what it means to you. Yeah. Cool. Go offline. Turn that damn computer off. <laughs> Pam. Courageous. Courageous for you. Bold. And bold. Absolutely. Good. Well, look, it's been wonderful sharing this business tip with you today. And it's been awesome to hear some of these wonderful words that you're going to be living by. So thanks very much. Thanks so much, Claire. Hasn't she got a beautiful energy up here? Very nice. I felt like I was in good hands. So I knew um, Claire uh, did had those conversations with people. Last year, my word was elegant. And this year, I'm cheating a little bit because I'm using one as an adjective to describe the word. <laughs> I'm breaking the rules. Guess which star sign I am. Um, so this year is elegantly abundant because I just couldn't give up an elegant. I just love it so much. So anyway, that's, that's what I'm doing this year. So moving right along, I'm loving this not being up here so much. Actually, I could get used to this, which I'm going to. And